Fora TV. The world is thinking. A director is a member of the audience who gets to talk back. I mean, you, you are, you sit where the audience uh, sits, and you have a few other, um, uh, you have privileges, as I say. You have uh, control over the uh, uh, aspect of the space, uh, uh, what things uh, look like, uh, who you're going to see trod upon it. And uh, you have the ability uh, to sit there and say, oh, wait, I missed that. Or do you think maybe, possibly, uh, or you know, maybe there's more space in the scene for uh, this to happen? And you know, in, in certain instances, you actually begin to have rights of consultation about what gets said or when it gets said, if you're trusted by uh, a writer. So, you know, I'm a great admirer of the theater. I just uh, love it so. And I guess, I, you know, uh, uh, for me, it's uh, uh, an extension of, of my habit uh, of going to the theater and, and loving it, loving it in, you know, uh, uh, many, many aspects of it and, and many varieties of it. I have extremely Catholic uh, taste. And, um, and I think that, uh, you know, so I do, uh, and, I, and I also think that, you know, part of that, and it is still, it, it's, uh, is, is to represent the audience and, and to, I mean, I, you know, today there was a first rehearsal of a workshop of a musical, and we've been workshopping this musical uh, for quite a while. And, um, and I realized, I felt sort of slovenly in the weeks coming up to this rehearsal, thinking, well, it is the Cinderella story. And Cinderella is a story that is, is so digested by our culture that do we even really stop to consider why it is as amazingly powerful and popular as it is and useful to us? Uh, useful to us when we're children and, and useful to us perhaps, you know, if we, if we care to pay attention when we grow up. And... Um, and so I, I thought, well, I, should, I, I need to speak to the company about the power that's in this story. I think a director is very often somebody who's going to remind you of things you know already. Mm. But life is so, the, the assault of life, and even the pressures of production, and the obligations of performing a role, or designing a, a set, or... Uh, the, the tasks of all of my collaborators is, you know, we're after basic, powerful things. And because sometimes they're frightening or uh, 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 we, we tend to get um, uh, these basic, powerful things get obscured. Uh, you know, our, our minds will take us to uh, insignificant details or uh, dangerous fears. Uh, that, that are going to reduce our, you know, potential to tell a story well and, and connect um, with our partners on stage and, and with an audience. So I think I'm there to reduce fear. You know, I think rehearsal rooms and, and theaters are, are places where we're hoping to, you know, purge the air of fear, which I think is just rampant in... In, in, in the universe. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, so, uh, I mean, that's part of the job description. <laughs>